separation of church and state is basic to our system. That should be impossible. Yet it's true. The state of Alabama was the first to declare Christmas an official legal state holiday in 1836. By 1890, all the other states had done the same, breaking the tradition of church and state separation. Thanksgiving, which is the most American of all holidays, does have a religious theme in that it recognizes a divine being who provides all the good that the earth brings forth. Yet Thanksgiving is not really a religious holiday. It didn't start in a church. And only lately have churches begun having special Thanksgiving services. Thanksgiving is celebrated in homes rather than in houses of worship. Christmas is the most popular of Christian holy days with lots of special services, practices, and traditions in church and beyond church. Christmas is really the Christian holiday set aside to recognize the divinity of Christ from his very birth. The actual date of Christ's birth has long been lost in history. In the 4th century, in the year 349 to be exact, Pope Julian chose December 25th as the Feast of the Nativity. The holiday immediately took many long-established end-of-year customs as its own, even pagan customs. And the Jewish celebration of Hanukkah, the Feast of Lights, often fell near December 25th and had its own tradition of gift-giving. The struggle between the religious and secular sides of Christmas is evident in the continuous court battles over nativity scenes and crutches displayed in public buildings. That tension between secular and spiritual Christmas probably will always continue because Christmas is a very unusual American holiday. This is Lucina Migala with Who We Are, a public affairs feature of WCEV Radio. WCEV, we're Chicagoland's ethnic voice.